Uh, Ultimate Cartoon Network tier list. It looks like it has most things. It even has Shaolin Showdown, which means it accounted oh, for when the switched God. over. Oh, that half mass just from hearing the name. <laughs> yeah, no. I need that to make. Show is so good. I need to make sure they have the more uncommon ones like Megas XLR. Samurai Jack. Yep. What about uh, Jackie Chan Adventures? <gasps> that you're gonna wait. Was that on Cartoon Network? No, that was on WB Kids. That's right. That was mm-hmm. a good show though. Mm-hmm. I don't see Megas XLR. I'm getting a little concerned. I see it. Oh, there she is. I don't even remember. Wait, no. Jackie Chan Adventures. Ooh. I was going to say, I thought I always watched it after no. Shaolin Showdown. Yeah, well, yeah, because they were both WB. Cartoon Network eventually got Shaolin Showdown. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Can we trust Wait, this? Sure? I'm a hun- I even looked this up the other night because I was talking about it with chat. Yeah. Shaolin Showdown initially started airing on WB Kids. Or Kids WB, excuse me. How dare you? Yep. But it was eventually picked up by Cartoon Network. Right. This says Jackie Chan Adventures was originally Kids WB and went to Cartoon Network. Yep, I told you. Yeah. I watched well, a lot. Well, that counts. It was on Cartoon Network. No, no, Network it, it counts. It counts. It's fine. I just didn't know Jackie Chan Adventures ever made the journey. I don't remember Mega's XLR. That's the one with the guy who loves pizza. And he's like, yeah, I love fucking pizza and I love cars. Oh, and my car yeah. transforms into a machine. Yeah, it was a lot like Transformers, his car. <laughs> yeah. More like Gundams. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start with Over the Wall. Never seen it. What the fuck is Never that? Never seen it either. What, yeah, what the, the fuck is Over the Wall? Me, what a slow start. Yeah, Over I have no idea what that is. Wall. What the fuck is this? I've never even heard of this. Like, I've seen I nothing of this. I don't recognize it at all. Is that new? It has to be. 2000, oh my god, it came out in 2014. Oh, yeah, get that out of here. Get this dog shit out of What is this doing? I think we're going to get a few of those. Yeah, Batman, Brave and the Bold. I thought it was okay. Yeah. I didn't love it. Nothing. I didn't hate it. I, I'd say like if B it or was C. On, I'd watch it. Yeah. I um, didn't think it, Batman Beyond, not to spoil, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll just do this now. Batman <laughs> Beyond. <laughs> now that was. That was a banger. I completely agree. I don't know if I'd give it S though. I would go A personally. I'm going to go A and drop this to a C. Okay. Batman I'll Beyond was it. so good. Damn, there's some on here that I totally forgot about. Never seen Steven Universe. I haven't either, but people fucking love that show. Especially on Tumblr. They lose their mind over yeah. Steven Universe. That is like a full-blown, like, red alert kind of shit. Yeah, they, they love, love it. That. What's the other one they go crazy over? Um, Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls. Have I've never seen that, that either. Me either. I've heard great things. Symbiotic Titan, I will say, was bad. I've seen a few episodes. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Yeah, it wasn't super good. The thing that most people remember about uh, remember about Symbiotic Titan is they had a like a little soft core scene where mommy starts throwing her ass in a circle. Really? Yeah. I'm starting to rethink. Yeah, Kimmy gets a little wild out there. Oh, I recognize her. Yeah. Has two congruent sides. Yeah, Kimmy really starts to feel herself. Whoa. Yeah, you see that? Wow. You see that? Whoa. This is the only reason Symbiotic Titan is ever even remembered. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? I know, right? It was way ahead of its time. What the hell is happening? What? <laughs> it's getting worse. Kind of looks like Velma from Scooby Doo. Yeah, a little bit. Imagine this is how you get banged. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they get me for Kimmy's dance. The straps. I know, I know. It has everything you need. This is unbelievable. I'm, I've, I've seen all I need to see to rank this. Yeah, this was good enough. I'll bring it up to a, a, a C tier. Yeah. I didn't really like this show, <laughs> but this just carried it from D to C. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Might as well finish. We're out of here, of course. Wouldn't make sense. We'd have to finish the research. I gotta go. Was that all to get him to sign divorce papers? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know the lore. No. What did he say? He said no. Wow. He doesn't want that divorce. No, uh, I can imagine. Uncle, Uncle Grandpa, Grandpa, I've seen a couple episodes because Tiana put it on before bed. What's going on? Why don't I know any of these? These are new shows. This, oh, okay. this show blew ass. Uncle I fucking Grandpa. hated it. Every time she'd have this shit on, it what was so fuck? bad. This looks like it was made by the people that made The Amazing World of Gumball. Uncle Grandpa? Yeah. I mean, it probably is. It's dog shit. Is that new style show? So I I liked Adventure Time. I used to watch Adventure Time. And then that turned into like 
those shows that yeah. are wild. Yeah, like Chowder like, and all that. Yeah. I hate Chowder. So, but Adventure Time is incredible. Yeah, Adventure Time is a work of art. Now let's talk about Displate. I've talked about them in the past. They're these beautiful metal posters. They're extremely easy to set up. I've shown you a couple of mine, such as the Vagina poster, which is not even a custom one. That was just one that they had on their website because the selection for the actual art on the metal posters is huge. Absolutely massive. But if, let's say, there isn't anything you want from the already pre-existing art available at Displate, you can have custom art that you can get on a displate. So if you don't like my vagina displate, you can have your own vaginal displate. It's just there's so many options and they look so nice. No tools required, just the good old meaty paws and it takes actual seconds to set it up. So if you're interested in getting a displate for your own home, you can click the link in the description below to get up to 33% off your displate order. So that's just clicking the link in the description for up to 33% off, and they're wonderful pieces of art to put on your wall. Ozzy and Drix. Not yep. bad. Yeah, I, I agree. I didn't... There's not a whole lot I remember about any episodes in particular, but I remember loving the universe because it was a pretty unique spot to be like in the human body doing mm -hmm. like some secret spy the shit. movie... Was movie great. Bill Murray had it. Yep. He, was, he ate that egg that a monkey dropped. Exactly. Like the monkey was like sucking on an egg and like kegeling it in his yeah. butthole, and yep. then he like grabs it. And he's like, ah. mm, delicious. And then he's got that. There's also the pimple scene. Yep. That pops. That's a. Yep. It's a gross movie, but a great movie. Yeah. Um. I I enjoyed the show too. I'll give it a C just because I don't remember it super well, but yep. it was always good. It wrote off the success of the movie. Samurai Jack. Yeah. You already know. Yeah. You already It's know. hard. I will say, it is hard to put Samurai Jack in S tier after they finished it. Did oh, you I see, never saw the end. You didn't watch the final no. season? They went Did back? Did they, like, come back and do that? Yeah. So, in 2016, they came back and wanted to finish it. And everything was great. All of the episodes were wonderful. And then the last episode, they wrapped everything up in a single episode oh. where... I'll, 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 it's spoilers. It's fucking Samurai Jack. You know how it's going to end. <laughs> He does finally get the better of Aku, mm -hmm. and then one of the people he meets, it just instantly vanishes. So, like, oh. within five minutes, you go from this, like, emotional triumph to, like, another emotional moment, and none of it has any weight because it happens in literal five minutes of the episode. Gotcha. It takes all of the so build-up. rush to the end. Yeah, it, it takes all of the build-up oh, out of it, sucks. and it is so unsatisfying. That sucks. It is horrible. I hated how it ended. What a shame. But that it, show was like my childhood. Yeah, but it definitely more about the journey than the destination on that one because it really was like a perfect show up until yeah. the ending. I didn't watch Total Drama Island. I remember it being on. Um, I feel honestly like Total Drama Island had to have been the inspiration for Gravity Falls. I feel like the... Unless I'm just stupid, but I remember people also losing their mind about Total Drama Yeah, I mean, Island. the chat's losing their yeah. mind about it right now. I, I've i never seen it. I think Bailey used to watch it and liked it, but I didn't see a ton of it. Um, I'll just put it in never seen then. Yeah, I think that's... It. I know the style. Like, I definitely remember seeing, like, ads yeah, there, for it, but I never watched it. With, like, the green mohawk and stuff. Like, any clips I did see, like, when I walked by and watched it, it was good. Um, but I didn't watch it all the way through. Yeah, I've never seen an episode. So, I might have to watch it. Sheep Ooh, in the Big City. I don't think wow. many people remember this one. No, though. I remember that one, but not some of the others. are just yeah. so weird. More for yeah. the chat. I think chat remembers more of the bigger ones. Sheep yeah. in the Big City started as like little skits. Yeah, it was a little yeah. like filler almost. When they had a cartoon, cartoon Fridays, yeah. they would have Sheep in the Big City like bump clips. So they'd have like a sheep doing some dumb shit and then it spun off into its own show. Yeah, I remember enjoying it. Yeah, it, it wasn't a good show though. Like it was really right. lazy stuff. Like it wasn't... It, it definitely, he didn't, there wasn't really any talking or anything, was there? No, it was here. It was completely silent from what I remember. Are we old? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This oh. was, this was like actual, yep. like here early is. 2000s shit. The big city. Yeah, there's a narrator. Yeah, I remember watching this. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Yeah, it was enjoyable. It would keep you entertained while you were eating your cereal. It, yeah, the show is supposed to look like a child drew it with crayons, I think. Yeah. Alright, it was fine. Yeah, agreed. Though, it was definitely... I wouldn't... I, I really wouldn't put it up there. I, I was about to say, Ozzy and Drix and Batman were definitely better. I would not put it there. Young Justice, that... Mm, very pretty good. good. I don't know about A or B, though. I was literally going to say it's between A and B. Yeah, I don't know. 
Go B. I'll go, go B. Because yeah. I, I think Batman Beyond is better. Than I, yeah, I definitely choose Batman Beyond over it. What is this? I don't know what this is. All right, chat. Help us what out. What the fuck is this? is this? Yeah, this is Comic Sans. Dream? It means nothing to me. Yeah. What's... Clarence? What's Clarence? Look it up. See if we remember it. Never seen it. Never even. Whoa. This doesn't look familiar at all. Where the fuck did this come out? 2018. Oh, wait. Oh, final. Yeah. That was final. 2014. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I've never seen this either. Tiana's not even put this on to go to bed to, which means that it must have not been good at all. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I thought that I've never seen this show. Yeah. <sighs> We're coming up on a banger here. Foster's? Are you a big Foster's yeah, guy? I love Foster's Home. I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm gonna have to do it to you. It's not S. Oh it's god, it would have been an S tier for me. No, I love that. Show. So uh, most of these shows Tiana puts on before bed now. So yep. I, I've been watching like a lot of this shit again. It doesn't oh, hold up that well. It really? really doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, that was my favorite. Show Samurai Jack did. holds up really well. Batman Beyond also holds up well. This not so much. Fuck, Foster's Home was so good though. <laughs> it, I loved it at the time. Yeah, I guess oh. if I was going nostalgic, if I was grading this as like. Uh, here's nine-year-old Charlie again. Yep. It would be S tier for me as well. That was definitely one of my favorites as a kid. Oh, Blue was such a good character. Yeah. There's wow. one thing I need to check if I need to see if it's on a here. A lot of people are saying Ninjago is S. Yeah, that makes me sad to read in the chat. To be honest, like I'll be so many. Yeah, I'll be I'll be frank. I think that makes me very sad. Well, there are a lot more on here than I remember. There's some there's some bangers so. though. It's miss. I can always gauge who was a real fan based on whether or not whatever happened to Robot Jones is here. And it's not. Know. Wow. That it's, is. Uh... Oh, oh, it's here. Oh, oh, they did it. What about, um, what the fuck's the other robot one? Te my life as a teenage robot. Oh, my life as a teenage is robot. Yeah. On here? Uh, that was a huge show. I, I have to imagine a fucking Robot Jones yeah. is on here. Was that Cartoon Network? Or? It was. I'm pretty sure. That definitely feels Cartoon Network. Oh, it was Nickelodeon? Oh, uh, okay. I was oh, going to say the okay. only other would be Nick, but... Yeah, so have you seen Ninjago? I have not. People are losing their mind about it. Is it good? That's the straight-up Lego show, right? Yeah, it is a fucking Lego show. Here's... Let's, let's play the clip. Yeah, here's one. Previously here's one. on Ninjago. I will control you from now on. The Serpentine are back. Everyone in Jamanakai Village is in danger. That was a shit. <laughs> I thought we were going to face Lord Garmadon. It's his son. There's None of you are near Rangers. the level of what it takes to be the Green yeah. Ranger. Well, it doesn't seem like Power Rangers. Huh? <laughs> it's a little... It's, there's definitely Power Rangers. The White Ranger. Yeah. Wow. Turned into a Rondo. Let me, okay, how about Ninjago fight? Yeah, let's watch a fight scene. Yeah, let's watch some uh, crazy montage. What about like an AMV even? Oh. The best Lego Ninjago let's battles ever. Zane versus Mr. E. It's like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Whoa. Well, there's more animation here than in like a One Piece then, fight. Yeah, more... More than most animes have, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Like, this animation absolutely costs them more than almost every major anime. He looks like Colossus from X-Men. Yeah. This is, this is a lot of action! This is. I'm on the edge of my seat. They haven't even stopped to do, like, exposition or anything yet. I still think we have to put it in... And never seen it, but oh, I'm well, glad. Yeah. I'm glad we're learning. Oh, this is oh. this is absolutely some Mortal Kombat shit. He just rips his yeah. head off and his oh. spine comes out. Mad. If he does it, that's here. If he rips off any of his body parts, I'll put it in that. Yeah, same. It's hot. Thanks for some Silver Spirit. He's dead. Oh, yeah, is there any permadeath in this show? Like, did anyone get murdered? Okay. Definitely going and never seen though, because yeah, we haven't uh, seen it. That's interesting. Secret Mountain Fort Awesome. What the fuck are these? <laughs> oh, somebody said there is permadeath. And then they spoiled the whole show for me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Wait, what did you type in? Secret Mountain Fort Awesome. Oh, you left. Oh. oh. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I left Uncle Grandpa in there. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is, is this happening? disgusting show? What? I'm telling you, they got quirky for the point of being quirky. They're like, yeah. let's make something wacky. This looks terrible. Play clip. Yeah, what a nine years ago. It's not a secret anymore. No, nine years ago. Embrace the awesomeness. I second that emotion. Awesome. The bro. Like like oh, I yeah, think so. Ass face. Great job, bros. They're my bros, bro. The adorable kittenness. This is like if Adult Swim was made for younger children. Yeah. I don't like it. That was absolute trash. I'm lucky that we have to put it in Never Seen This I'm show. just going to put it in E after having right. seen just that. <laughs> Another one I haven't fucking heard of. 16. 16. This is sad. All of the ones Ooh. we know are down here, so we have to go through all this shit yeah. first. This is 2004. This would have been when I was watching... Cartoon Network, but I've never seen this. When did they play these? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, this doesn't... This rings oh, zero bells. Bad. Uh, I guess I'll have a... Lemonade, then. Do you take credit cards? For a dollar ninety? No. How's it sounding? It's... It, so the dialogue's crazy. pretty good. <laughs> Cinnamon buns is? Oh, People are saying the theme. There. Oh, it's a Canada only show. Oh, okay. They said the theme song is amazing. Okay, well, I've never seen it. Yeah. Code Lyoko. I love this. I was this. about to say that was one of my favorites. It is horrible now, though. Have you seen it recently? I can imagine it. I just remember it being really like chunky animation. Yeah. Code Lyoko. Where, where's the intro? Theme song. Well, I think this is just the song. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, here we go. Season one opening. And this was like a dream as a kid. I know. This was like one of the more early 3D animated shows. Yeah. Thanks for five gift subs, Firegrounds, in the prime season. Also, I saw you they gave gift subs after stream earlier. Thank you for that. Oh, it's such a banger of a song, though. Did you ever play the game Dot Hack? Uh-uh. No, it's very similar to this. Yeah, I loved it too when I was younger. So I think we gotta rate it on Yeah, but the show doesn't really have a purpose. Like no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Like when I saw it more recently, like nothing happens. Yeah, that shows off the animation style I remember. Yeah. Like it's a show that there it is. a whole bunch of fucking nothing ever happens. Hey, there's some fights. Yeah, but like the reason for the fights is never there. Yeah, I liked that show a lot as a kid, though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna give it a B, though. I did like it a lot, but it wasn't my favorite. Yeah, that was one of the. I was excited when it was on, but yeah. I was like, damn! Like it wasn't a, you know, Foster's Home type deal. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's that? Yeah, I don't. What is this? Dick picks. Dick picks. Dick picks. Dick picks. <laughs> what is this one? No one knows this one. What is it? Un Uni Kitty. Uni Kitty. I don't remember Uni Kitty. It definitely Is wasn't it a cat on universe? for us. Oh, I remember. Like I saw Uni Kitty. I've never seen um, this. I'm just not even gonna look it up. It's going I, right into. I never seen. saw the show. I just know the kitty. I don't like that animation style. That looks bad. But you know what? Neither of us have ever seen it. It's got to go in here. Wow. Hot Wheels Acceleracers. Uh, the next one is Hot Wheels Acceleracers, which I've also not seen. You haven't seen Acceleracers? No, have you? Yeah. I was oh. not expecting that at all. No, Hot Wheels Acceleracers, I used to love when I was younger. Wow. Yeah, I had I had zero idea. I had them on VHS. Yeah. Uh, it, I, I liked them a lot. All right. Uh, I'd, take it away. I'd give that a B. It wouldn't go above Batman Beyond or Fosters, but I really liked the movies. They even had some games, too, and I liked those as well. I played a lot of their games. Also, this next one is the most us tier for me. Adventure Time? Yeah. I never watched it when it aired. Tiana started watching it before bed, and I ended up just watching the majority of the episodes yeah, on my it own. It is solid. It is a really like, good show. Shockingly, the writing in that show is just incredible. It is such a fucking good show. Yeah, it's got a little bit of 
everything too. Yeah. Music is great. Writing's great. There's fights that are great. Yeah, it's so good. What's that next one say? Thanks to the Tier 1 Tomato Princess, the 2 Gift Subs Skating, Resub A, and the 5 Gift Subs Skull. Thank you for that. And the Resub Shrimpson and Doozle. Yeah, it's Almost Naked Animals. <laughs> I'm going to have fun looking that up real quick. Whoever made this show should be in jail. What the fuck? I remember that blue guy. The blue guy here? Yeah, seeing that picture, that... Oh, this like, this guy? Yeah, blue blobby guy. Here, this is the show. I don't know why I remember that show. I, I don't remember the show. Look at the character remember. design. She's got some, like, traffic cone titties. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting one. What the fuck is Based this? Based on pictures alone, I'd put it in F. I'm oh. just, yeah, I'm gonna give this the lowest possible. Yeah. Well, nah, I'm not gonna do it twice. Right. Actually, here, I'll switch these two. Okay, there yeah. you go. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and also get that off screen for anyone who comes in and wonders why I googled almost <laughs> naked animals. Somebody has to. Camp Laszlo, how did you feel? Uh, I always remembered liking it, um, but I want to look it up because, let me see, I just remember, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember thinking that one was fine when it was on, but I wouldn't seek it out. Yeah, I always liked Camp Laszlo when it came on, Yeah, but it's definitely not a show I'd want to go out of my way exactly. to watch. I'm kind of middle tier with that yeah, one. I'm going to stick to C on yep, Camp Laszlo. There were parts of it that could be annoying, but I, I enjoyed it. Here's another one I've never heard of, Class of 3000. Never heard of that either. Okay, it's just immediately going into Never Seen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't seem like interestingly weird. I was a big cow and chicken fan though. Yeah, cow and chicken was good. I mama don't... had a chicken, mama had a cow, right? Wasn't that how it started? Dad was proud, he didn't care how. I I don't remember the, the theme song. That's the one though where they never showed the heads of the parents. Right? Yep, it was only yeah. their legs. Yep. I remember liking that one, um, but probably more in a C or B way. Mm, I'll, uh, B makes sense to me, I think. All right. It was a pretty, like, weird show. If you it were was. fans of, like, if you were, like, an early foot fetishist, like, if you really <laughs> discovered yourself, you had a lot to like about Cow there, and Chicken. I do remember there being, like, weird sexual things in that show, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and the, see, that was a show that I feel like they're trying to emulate with some of the shows now, where, like, yeah, it was weird, but in a fun way, and now some of them are just like, why? <laughs> yeah, they also, there's a huge emphasis on ass. Yes, so like that's a, what I remember. The devil guy, his ass was always like yes. his big thing, like he'd be like licking his own ass. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I'll just type in butt. Yeah, like the whole show was all about ass, yeah, really. Yeah, I do remember that. This guy in particular. Yeah. Yeah, it was strange. It was a, it was a weird show. But I always did enjoy it. Yeah, I liked that one. But definitely was one of the weirder ones ever. I'll give that... I think I'll, I'll, I'll stick C. I think B is a little high. I wouldn't have done it with these three, I don't think. Don't know what the fuck Craig of the Creek is, another one. This came out, this actually just came out in 2018. You've never oh, seen yeah, this? Yeah, never. The only new one I know is We Bear Bears. Okay. And that's because my dad's obsessed with it. Why does your dad like wee bear bears? He just sees clips and thinks it's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> what? I don't know why. Is it good? Or... Oh, I remember that show, Atomic Betty. I never watched it. It was it was decent. Um, it, once again, it was one of those, like, it's so not memorable. It's a D or C for me. I'd say probably D. Okay. I'm fine with that. Definitely like the sheep one. Did you ever watch Chowder? Uh, bits and pieces. I I know people love that, like, a ton, so I'm very scared to say anything. I'm not. This show <laughs> fucking sucks. Okay. It is so bad. <laughs> All right. This show is Shouter absolute me, asshole. I always felt like they were trying to emulate Adventure Time and fell short every single well, it's, time. Well, it's nothing. I, I will say it is nothing But it came like out Adventure at the time. same time and felt like they were trying to do that weird, goofy side and it never, never hit Maybe. for me. It's fucking trash. <laughs> Tiana watched it before bed again. So this I've seen is going to be how you get canceled. Yeah. Shit this talking one has like such a cult following. I hate this fucking show. It's so dumb. Like, uh, one of the episodes the other night that I was talking about on stream too was like the Toot Toot song. Mm. So he, he finds out that he's able to fart 
songs and people like it. So then he goes on stage and the amount of times they say toot is infuriating. Oh, if right. you looked at the script of that episode, I would it's imagine toot. Yeah, I would imagine the word toot is said more than any other word, even the oh, It is God. infuriatingly awful. All right, I when I started to say it and you started to blow up, I thought you were going to blow up on me. No, um, I hate that fucking wow. show. When Tiana has it on, that's the only show I immediately turn off when I go in there. <laughs> I can't watch it. It fucking sucks. All right, perfect. Yeah, no, I like I said, that was the similar era of Adventure Time, and that one did not do it for me. No, no, that's trash. But I had a lot of friends who fucking loved it. Thanks to the resub, Agent, Bestest Bro, and Damien. I think we're going to get ruined for this. No, it shouldn't be controversial. If people are saying they still like it, they haven't watched it recently. It's it's so hard to watch. And that main character's voice, Chowder's voice, is fucking awful. It's it's so grating. Somebody said we need to watch the chowder car wash scene. Alright, let's do it. We'll watch a chowder clip, Matt. And you can see what I'm talking about. I guarantee it's fucking horrible. I don't know the car wash scene, but I guarantee it's awful. Best chowder fourth wall breaks. Alright, maybe that maybe they were talking about something else. Is it snail car? Jesus maybe. Christ. Yeah, fun yet. I am having some fun. Okay, so not that one. It's not this one. Fourth wall breaks has it. And how the floors are all covered in pimples. Yeah, everybody's saying wrong. Okay, God so very cool thumbnail though. Yeah, that does look very nice. Wonderful. Very milkable titties. Um, so this one. Yeah. My good man. <laughs> I guess just look through and see if there's a car wash in it. Uh, I'll, I'll watch some fourth wall breaks. Thanks, Prime Nate. The first one. Okay, that'll be $47. Coming right up, my good man. This is the same fucking clip. This is the same clip. You just gave me the same clip. We're out of money! What? Rada? Do you know what this means, man? You're not getting your delivery of potatoes? Oh, no! Worse than that! Yeah, you're gonna sure you're not missing anything? You, find out you spent good. all the money? Even worse than that! Even worse than that! I give up what? No money means no animation! What are we gonna do? Rattle, rattle. No, we are not going home. We've got to save the show. But where are we going to get the money to pay for it? I bet they do a car wash. No, that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, true. They spoiled it. Back. Whew. Okay, now we gotta replace all the money that we took. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'd like to add an F tier to put this even lower. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't like it. Yeah, that show is terrible, man. I'm telling you, that show is awful. I don't know what this one is. That's just going right into Never Holy Seen. Fuck. Oh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That's ass. Yeah, that's an that's ass right ass. there. Woo, that's what we're built on. Now that's what we're fucking talking that about. That taught us how to be Florida men from day one. <laughs> yep. We even just recently did an Ed, Ed and Eddie experiment yep. with shooting potatoes through a tennis racket for french fries. Absolutely. That show. That's peak showmanship right This is there. absolute cool. classic. They even went back and finished it. I don't know if you saw the movie. I did not. They, they concluded it with Eddie's brother. A wonderful finale, too. Absolutely okay. perfect ending. I'll Great show. That, that show was so good. I don't think I've seen Flapjack. Flapjack was another around that same era of Chowder and Adventure Time. Yeah. Um, I recognize it. There is one guy. I've never watched it. 
who always had candy on his face. That drove me nuts watching it. I, I, I like maybe saw a combined three minutes of it, so I would put it and never see this show. Okay, that's fair. I never watched the Green Lantern show. Green Lantern. Was it good? Um, I was a big Green Lantern fan as a kid. Mm -hmm. Um, I I can't speak to the show specifically. I just remember liking it because I liked Green Lantern. Okay. Um, So I would probably go... My childhood would have said B, but maybe, I don't know, middle of the road. It's like a C then? Yeah. I I feel like I've seen Generator Rex, but I can't picture it in my head. I, I recognize the name. I want you nope. to look up a flapjack clip. I'm not watching a flapjack I clip. I, I, I've never seen clips. flapjack. Yeah. I'm not going to watch clips. I, I don't remember this at all. Yeah, I don't think I saw this. Looks like a bad Ben 10. Came out in 2010, so that would make sense. I'll put... I've right. never seen. Can Robot Jones. Yeah, I think we're, we're finally Show getting there. a picture of Robot Jones. Oh, man. You're in for a treat. Robot Jones is such a weird show. Well, not weird's the wrong word, because it's not... It's just an ugly show, and it's so unique in the fact oh. that no one like ever remembers they no, watch this. No, I do remember that. I don't remember anything about the show, but I recognize it. How old is it? Robot Jones. Jones. It came out in like 2004, I think. Would have been around there. Yeah, I remember the robot. Yeah. Like, it's such an ugly looking yeah. show. Is he just a robot going through life? Yep, and then he... I remember... He was kind of like the original Chowder, but not as awful. At one of their school dances, he gets a malfunction where he ends up shitting himself. Oh. So he has like... A big problem for robots. Yeah, so he has like a 30, 40 second scene where like, he's like trying to hold everything in, and then he comes, and he's ah. like he's like farting, but he's farting melodically. Oh, no. So then everyone at the dance is like, oh my god, Robot Jones is kicking a beat! So then everyone at the dance goes out onto the dance floor and they're all dancing. Yeah, they're all shaking their ass and all that. Yeah. Wow. That's uh that's great. Yeah, that's the main <laughs> that's the main thing I remember from Robot Jones. Alright, I'm gonna let you rank this one by yourself. It's it's it wasn't good. I didn't oh, really okay. like it, but I did watch it. I, I'd say I'd have to put this with like Sheep in the Big City. Okay. It wasn't a very good show, but I did it's like I did watch it. This one was okay. Yeah, it was it was Cow and Chicken again. It was, yeah, essentially the same show. But I would rather watch Cow and Chicken. <laughs> yeah. One, so. I'm still going to put it here, though. They, right. they felt the same to me. All right. I'm fine with it. The robot, I wonder if the scene is on YouTube. Uh, dance scene, maybe? Funky fart beat. There yeah, it there is. it is. <gasps> Let me see. It's like a, something out of Everhood, where you'd have to be like jumping over the beat. He's right. See? That is one funky Wow. Beat. That was the girl that he loved. She looks like the girl from Recess for the Day. Oh my gosh, that robot's hot! Wow. Mm hmm. This is the main one I remember from this show. <laughs> Incredible. <Yeah. laughs> Were you a big Ben 10 fan? I did like Ben 10. Yeah, Ben 10 was always enjoyable. That's another one. You always wanted to find the Omnitrix, you know, in real life. It, it was like <laughs> God Leoko. You know, it was cool. Well, I'm not, I wasn't a fucking idiot, Matt. I was a child, but I wasn't dumb. Unbelievable. I didn't actually think I'd find an Omnitrix, no, but I would have enjoyed one. Whatever, big guy. Okay. Oh, God. You probably went out there with like a metal detector and made your dad try and like hide <laughs> yeah. shit in the backyard. Yeah. That that was my childhood. Where would you I wouldn't put this at S. Would you put it A or B? A. a. Personally. I'm fine with A. Infinity train sounds really familiar, but I can't picture it again. That has to be new. Yeah, I've never seen this. 2019. Jeez. What the fuck? They still make cartoons. Yeah, why? <laughs> Jackie Chan! Jackie Chan's uncle in the medallions! Let's go! That's an S tier for me. Uh, I actually wouldn't be, but I'm not mad putting Jackie Chan up here. I loved that. The action was super good, too. It was. That show was so good. It had a great theme song. Jackie Chan himself helped a little bit. It was so fucking good. All of it was amazing. Yeah, fuck. It was awesome. That's a definite S tier for me. 
Johnny Bravo, that is also an S. <laughs> Johnny Bravo was a great show. Johnny Bravo, For so For no reason, good. too, but it was a great show. It was written really smart, too. Like, the jokes are pretty solid. Yeah, I'd have to go back and watch that one. I haven't seen it in 15 years, but I loved that show. I did a rewatch back in, like, early college, and I still really liked it. Johnny Bravo is so fucking good. God, that was a good show. Johnny Test, I didn't like. Johnny Test, was that the... He had, like, twin sisters. Yeah, and he had a dog. Science. Yeah, science. I don't remember it very well, so I'll trust your opinion on it. I didn't like it. I definitely think that's a D. I don't think it's an E, but I definitely think it's a D. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I don't remember watching it too much. It wasn't good. Justice League, though, that's going to be an A for me, yeah, baby. that's a good show. Justice that League is like, great. Uh, you know, Saturday morning cartoons right there. Mm -hmm. Awesome Justice League. I used to watch this in college with G. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. late night after a party if we, if we didn't... You know, if we didn't have a great night out, we'd come back, we'd watch some Justice <laughs> League, and uh, everything was okay. Nice. Makes up for all of it. Yeah. God, that wow. show's good. That is a great show. I don't know what Apples and Onions is. I, kn I Me either. I know that's new, though. This one you were excited about. I was. So. Not because I think it's an incredible show, but just it's a really interesting one. I, I found it to be very unique. Megas XLR started as, like, shorts, if I remember right, and it became a full show that nobody watched. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh, here's the final fight. Wait, is that just Modoc? I don't know. But it's it's just a really cool show. I absolutely remember it. I I don't remember watching it, but I remember like the intro and things like that. Yeah. It's basically just like the Megazord fights from Power Rangers right. for a whole show. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, I do remember these these characters. Well, this is an older one, right? Yep, this is an older one. When this came out, I'm pretty sure I was still in elementary school. Yeah, yeah that villain, the head pulling, that is quite literally what came out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna trust your ranking. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that at a B. It was a good, I did like it, but I wouldn't put it up here with any of these. I don't know what mighty... Bloggy sword is me either. Also, what's this next one? It looks like a serial. Mike Lou and Og. You don't remember that? Show me a picture. <clears throat> I'm a very visual guy, you know. Yeah. Well, that okay, that help. didn't. Yeah, that wasn't very helpful at all. It was this. I don't remember it. It, it looks like the Thornberries. Yeah, it wasn't very good. I didn't like Mike Lou and Og, like at all. Well, you have very similar it. style to the Thornberries. Yeah, I do remember it, but I really didn't all right, like that's it. That's all on you. I did like Mucha Lucha, though. Oh, of course. Mucha yeah, like Lucha. Mucha Lucha. <laughs> oh, that shit was great. That was wonderful. Uh, definitely not S, though. I think no, A. No, no. Do you yeah. remember Super Duper Sumos? Is that on here? Uh, I don't see it. I don't remember the show, though. You don't remember Super Duper Sumos? It was kind of like that, yeah, but with sumo wrestling. I had like a DVD of Super Duper Sumos that I got at Target for some reason. Super. I wasn't even a huge fan of the show. I just saw it and I was like, oh my god, I need it. I never saw Puffy Ami Yumi, but I heard about it. Was it any good? Let me look it up. That's gotta be haven't seen. Yeah, I guess. I also don't know. Okay, KO, let's be heroes. Powerpuff Girls, though. I like Powerpuff Girls. A or S, Girls. yeah. It's a matter of A or S. I can't decide. I'm going to say S, honestly. That's a classic. It is a classic. Mojo, Mojo Jojo. Jojo. Yeah. <laughs> That's what yep. I thought, too. The gang, green gang. Yep. And then when they... The Powerpuff Boys. Do you remember when they introduced the fourth Powerpuff Girl and it was really fucking sad? No. You don't? It no. was... Uh, what, what, did they, what was her name in the show? Someone in the chat, tell me. What, what, was, his, what was her name? Bunny, yeah. Bunny. They tried making their own Powerpuff Girl, but they grabbed like rat poison and dog poopy from the backyard. And was they... it just an episode? Yeah, she okay. was just in one episode, and then she ended up doing like a fucking Chout Zoo sacrifice from Dragon Ball, killing oh. herself to save the day. If I, I remember right. Look up Bunny because yeah. that that sounds familiar. I thought you meant over the whole. Show. No, 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 no. It was sad, man. Oh, I yeah. do remember her. Yeah, oh, it's and then, so sad. And then the narrator at the end is crying. He's like, a bunny is yeah. gone. A <laughs> bunny has killed herself. <laughs> yes, I do remember bunny. Oh, it was so fucking sad. Yeah, that show, though, was so good. Yeah. Yeah, to redeem herself and save the girls, she defeats every criminal herself. However, due to instability, she exploded into oh. a flash of light. Oh. After which a piece of her dress fell to the ground as the girls kneeled to it in mourning. <laughs> Yep. 
this for her? It was it was yeah, no, traumatizing. I, it's an year. Fuck yeah. Oh, that is a good question. Where is Billy and Mandy on here? I didn't see it. Oh, what the fuck? Courage is there. Courage is there. I don't see Why Billy and Mandy. Weird. Yeah, dude went a little too deep with the weird shows. He doesn't have um, Grim and Evil or yeah. Billy and Mandy. That's... All right. Both are S tier, though. Uh, just no yeah, S tier. Yeah, off some of the good shit. Yeah, I wonder. Is there anything else that he's missed that we haven't noticed yet? Let's see. Do you see Codename Kids Next Door anywhere? I was literally going to ask, was Codename a uh, Nick show or not? Because if it's not a Nick show... Oh, they left off Dexter! Yeah, there's no Dexter either? What the fuck? What the fuck? Invader Zim's Nick. You've gone insane. <laughs> Scooby-Doo is also not here. What the fuck is this? So, let's go ahead and run through these that they've missed. What's new Scooby-Doo? I thought was the best Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. And This list is actually so much better. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a lot shorter. This yeah. is like the main ones we know. They also had the theme song from, I think it was Simple Plan, right? Didn't Simple Plan make the What's oh, New Scooby-Doo yeah. coming in? Yeah. <laughs> was it Simple Plan? I think it was Simple Plan. Could have also been Good Charlotte. No, no I think it's Simple Plan. Simple Plan, yeah, no. chat's got it. That song slapped. That song was a banger. Honestly, I would still listen to that song. They had great music for Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. Like Zombie Island, they had like the yeah. Ghost is Fake and they had... Uh, it's terror time tonight. Yep. Oh my god, yeah, that shit was an absolute banger. They love that one off too. What is um, this one? I totally forget the full name, but I loved that show. Auto Boy, I think it says. Robo Boy. Robo Boy. I recognize the character. Boy. Yeah, I just remember really liking that show as a kid. I'll just put it in C since we don't remember All it. Right. Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't think ever really went... Did it go to Cartoon Network at some point? It must have. I guess. That's easy S tier all yeah, fucking day. I love that show. Still an incredibly fun show to watch. Um, Is Static Shock on the other one? They left off Static Shock. Okay, that's also an S. I loved Static Shock. I don't remember it super well, though, but I remember... Oh, I remember like, that. Sh that. That was my show. Really? Yeah. You know, just like how I said I wanted an Omnitrix, I wanted electrical powers on a trash can lid. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> That got oh that show was so good. I I really liked it. I just don't remember it super Not well now. Only that, but they were so far ahead of their time in tearing down racial barriers and TV shows. Like it had so much hidden meaning. Oh, it was so good. That show I think still stands up as an S tier. I believe you. Another S tier. Somebody code name. Static Shock was on Disney. No way. Was it? No, I, I doubt it. Code name Kids Next Door. That's S tier all day. All fucking day. That I wanted, I wanted to make like code name kids next door tr at trading cards when I was young. I was, oh. Yeah, I was big into Yu Gi Oh, and I was like, yo, this would make great trading cards. Yeah, that show, honestly, one of the best in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I, I loved that. That show. is like classic, like child fantasy. Yep. Just making a, a fucking disintegration ray out mm -hmm. of two popsicle sticks and chewed bubble gum. Yep. And all of the adults were the villains. Yeah, the adults were evil. Who was the the toilet paper guy? What was his name? Like, oh, I don't remember. I, I keep trying to remember all the villains' names now. Well, there was Father, who had the delightful children yeah, from down the he lane. Yeah, creepy. Then they had the toilet paper guy. His name was like TP Blaster? T TP PP Man? I don't remember. Didn't they have Candy Beard in that toilet one? Toiletinator. Toiletinator. <laughs> Toiletinator. Okay. Yeah, that candy show. Candy Beard. Uh, yeah, Candy Sticky Beard. beard. Big... Sticky Beard. That's what it was. And then they were missing Dexter. Yep. Obvious S -tier. S tier. They missed so many S tiers on this yep. other list for some reason. Uh, probably don't even need to explain why that's S tier. That should just come with, yeah, with I mean, the that territory. Show was just pure genius. Okay. Um, the, who, what were they called? The Super Squad or whatever in Dexter? Um, with like oh, Frog and stuff. Um, well, they had the Bonk guys. Oh, yeah, Bonk, but. Uh, it oh, was the big bonk. purple dude. The guy yeah, the I know who you're talking about. What were they? It, it, no, it, it was Adventure oh. something, wasn't it? Super Friends. Super Friends. Super yeah, Friends. They were awesome. That They're was like Justice Friends, something like that. Yeah, there was an S tier show inside of an S tier show. Yes. <laughs> oh, I remember they had that episode where they were fighting like the cheetah guy or the hunter. Yep. Yep. Like in the the yeah, forest. Like Justice Friends. Oh my god. Yeah. That was so good. That was so good. Oh god. It gets a double S. <laughs> yeah, that, that honestly should be two S's because yeah, it had two really S tier good. shows. 
Evil Con Carne, I thought was like B. It was okay. Oh, I forgot about that show. Yeah, it was, that was another weird one. It was the precursor to Billy and Mandy. Yeah. I didn't think it was nearly as good. No, I agree. Billy, Billy and Mandy, though, was so It good. had a great Flash game, though, where you had two warring islands that you were firing shit at each other. It was a great Flash wow. game. Wow, all right. And then had all these Billy and Mandy's S. Billy Mandy was really good. That show. That's another that I think was even ahead of its time. I, like, I think I would still like that one now. I think it would hold up very well. Yeah, that show was solid. Billy's dad was also great. They had really good cool oh, music yeah. in that show. <laughs> Do you remember Purple Filth? No. Purple Filth. Oh, it was good. This song still kind of bangs. You don't remember Battle of the Band's Purple Filth? I mean, let's see. I'm not even getting hit with nostalgia. It's, yeah, this is a good one. Is this something about crying? Ugh. It's upsetting you don't remember it. I absolutely remember this. It sounds like something that Rammstein would make mm-hmm. now. Wow. It's a banger. This is so good. It's a banger. How is this not a guitar hero? On my way home, I'm gonna listen to this and the Scooby Doo song. Yeah. Oh, I wow. It's so That's good. Solid. This song slaps. Holy shit. They don't make shows like they used to. No, they definitely fucking don't. It's such a Damn. good show. And then they also had, um, what was his name? The, the Demon Hunter guy in their show? Oh, was it Van Helsing? No, no, no. He had like a really manly name. It was like... Yeah, he was like... Gore Blast. Yeah, he was huge and buff. Yeah, Gore Butt... Gore Butt Man. Hostel Hostel Gatto. (laughs) Hostel Gatto. Fuck yeah. That was... That was such a good show. So we can go back to this one and finish it off. So this was like an S-tier rush that this other one forgot. Yep. Never saw a Problem Solver. No. Regular show is great. I'm going to have to give I, that S. I never watched it, but I heard amazing things about it. Yeah, I only started watching it because Tiana started watching mm-hmm. it to fall asleep, and the show is great. So I've been watching yeah, that a lot. I only heard good things about regular it is. Show. It is a great show. Never seen Sonic Boom. Have you seen Boom or Boop? Oh, Boom. Have you seen Squirrel Boy? Nope. Neither have I. I don't know what Stoked is. Nope. Teen Titans, that's oh, S. S tier. Oh, we were just talking about that the other day. Yep, easy S tier. Teen Honestly, Titans. Honestly, one of the best, too. Yep. Like that show, I just remember when they got beat, like going back to the tower and stuff, I was like in tears. Like oh. that, all oh, that show was just. I so remember good. the whole sad story with Raven and her father, Trigon, I think his name was, yep. and how she was just like this cursed child, and he finally decided to like pluck her away from the group. The, the ending was the saddest to me because that was my first, like, waifu was Tara. Oh, and okay. she she has, like, that moment where she becomes evil and self-sacrifices, ends up covered in stone. And then she comes back at the school and Beast Boy's, like, still in love. He's like, Tara, come back with us. He's like, fuck you. I don't know you, <laughs> pussy. Get away from me. That's always tough. Yeah, that made me sad. That made me so fucking sad. And that's where it ends. And yeah, then the... The episode where they reveal Raven's dead is like a spooky episode. Like, that shit messed me up. Yeah. Um, Teen Titans Go. E. All I, day. They fucking ruined it. I know. They ruined it. I know. It's not even close. Oh. The Teen Titans Go movie wasn't that bad. I watched that. It was okay. But I didn't see that. The show is insufferable. I just can't believe they did it. I don't know why they would take a show like Teen Titans and then do that. Yep. Like, do something else. Like, fucking Jackie Chan Go or something. Yeah. Why Teen Titans? <laughs> Anything was, else. It was a show that Freeze. took itself pretty seriously. Yep. Oh. Gumball, I haven't seen. I, I That's another one people love, like, regular show, but I haven't watched it. Yeah, I haven't seen that one either. Clone Wars is good. Clone Wars, I think, is B. Yeah, I, I'd put it around that B. Some episodes push it into A. It was solid. I mm-hmm. got it. On a trip, I had a portable DVD player, and I bought the entire box set of Clone Wars. Yeah, I just felt like there were so many... I knew you were going to get destroyed for B on that one. I know. I just felt like there were so many moments in Clone Wars that had really uninteresting plot lines. Like, I remember there was the, um... It wasn't on Tatooine or anything. It was on another desert planet, though, and I don't remember what they were even doing there. I think it was in there still trying to find Darth Maul, like, early on in the show. 
I think maybe just the earlier seasons are the ones that I'm stuck on, and I didn't think they were as strong as more of the later ones, like season yeah, three. I just watched them all on a plane as a kid and loved them. Um, I think it was actually no, it wouldn't have been China. I did like the new. Did you see the new Clone Wars season? Mm-mm. I did like that a lot. What's it on? It's on Disney Plus. It's brand new. Oh, okay. That yeah, came out last yeah, I year. Watch it. Yeah, I just remember liking Clone Wars. I'll give it an A, actually. I think I'm just oh, hung up. more mad about Gumball. We didn't watch it. Yeah. We put it in, never saw. I think I'm just a little too fixated on the earlier series, the earlier seasons yeah. of Clone Wars where it was slower. I as a kid. Never Garfield, watched Garfield. Nope. Annoying Orange I never saw, but uh, I know it's it shit. Give it an E. Give it an E. <laughs> just know it's shit. <laughs> Looney Tunes. I was never a huge um, Looney Tunes guy. You know what I did like... As a kid, for some reason, Baby Looney Tunes was bad. I liked Looney Baby Tunes. Looney Tunes okay. as a kid Thank as God, well. I thought that was going to be a hot take. No, I liked <laughs> Baby Looney Tunes when I was a kid. Yeah, Baby Looney Tunes was amazing. Yeah, I, I just never liked the normal Looney Tunes. Yeah. Um, I mean, some of it was fine. If it was on, I was okay with it. Like, I wouldn't give it an E or anything. I'd give it a C, um, I think. Is that what it was? Tiny Tunes? No, it was, it was definitely called Baby yeah, Looney Tunes. Baby Looney Tunes. I have to look it up, but I thought it was called Baby Looney Tunes. We are tiny, we are teeny. <laughs> right? Isn't that how it starts? I think you're right. Yeah. Turn yeah, it was called head. Baby Looney Tunes. Yeah, that show was good. That's the new Looney Tunes? Oh, Tiny Tunes is the new one. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, they really went that route with Teen Titans Go and everything. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. What the fuck was the theme song? Now I want to hear it. Yeah, I do too. I'm pretty sure it was like, we are tiny, we are teeny. Always something. Oh, Taz was a cute. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. He was always a menace. I think I was way off. <laughs> yep, alright, I remember it now. <laughs> I was way off with Tiny and Teeny. We're just saying it, and I automatically thought you were right, so. Yeah, what is that from? I'm thinking of Tiny Toons for that theme? Let's see. We're tiny. We're tiny. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh, this isn't new. This isn't very new at all. I fucking hated the girl and the cat and skunk, where she'd pull them away and everything, drove me nuts. This was in 1990. <laughs> Damn. Uh, there it is. Okay, so I was remembering the original. Either way, C tier. Powerpuff Girls, we already did. I don't know why it's here twice. I'm just going to leave it here. Courage, I still think, is the best cartoon ever made. That sh- it's The writing is unparalleled in that show, I think. It did horror right. It did everything right. Every yeah. episode was completely unique and different from the one before it. It was a show that will never, ever be replicated. Yeah, I I was scared of it as a kid, but I couldn't stop watching it. It is a masterpiece. I still remember the... What's his name? Doctor Zalost, you're about to say, I think. No, I was going to say the King or whatever in the Plague episode. Oh, King Ramses. King yeah, Ramses' King, curse. He scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, Return the Slab. Yep, Return of the Slab. There we go. Yeah. And return then he has the, the slab. he has that theme song that plays... King oh. Ramses, yep. the man in gauze, the man in gauze. That, that episode fucked me up for a bit as a kid. It is the mm-hmm. best cartoon that has ever and probably will yep. ever be made. I remember the dentist episode, like down in the sewers or some shit like that. It, oh. oh, you're talking about Doc Gerbil. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, Doc Gerbil. That has one of the best fucking orchest- orchestral pieces in any cartoon right. ever, yeah. Listen to this. This little orchestra piece here is nuts. Oh, horrible quality. Give me something. Give me something good. Uh, it's black and white, but this is the song. Like, it's so intense. It's blood curdling. Black and white really does this a disservice because you can't see all the incredible colors right. they used. They, like you said, they did everything right in the show. Yeah. The show is perfect. It's it's the perfect yeah, show. Yeah, I'm gonna bring back my childhood nightmares. I need to I need to just rewatch it again. That show was so good. Absolute S tier. 
Also, people are saying that's the Powerpuff Girls reboot. Oh, haven't seen it. Yep, sir. I haven't seen Thundercats either. Time Squad. Wait, is that old Thundercats? Because if it's old Thundercats. This is Roar. I think that's the new one. Oh, no. I can't believe they did my boy like that. Oh, what did they do? Oh, God. No. That's sad. Can you give it an E for me? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that for you. (laughs) That's rough. They Teen Titans goad it. Fuck, why? Oh, man. Why? You know how you said they should have done it to any other show? No, they shouldn't. <laughs> it's, they picked the weirdest shows to do it to. That's terrible. Did you ever watch Time Squad? Mm-mm. It was, you probably I, seen on it. On the other list, I recognized the characters. Yeah. Um, it was okay. Yeah, I don't remember it, so that one's on you. I'm just going to put it in C. It was an okay show. All yeah, right. How about My Gym Partner is a Monkey? That sounds very familiar. My gym partner is a monkey, 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 monkey. I, I recognize no? that as long as it's right. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I used to go to human school where everyone was the same. The now I go to an animal school because Lion's my last name. <laughs> it's about a kid whose last name was Lion, so they put him at an animal school. Oh, I do remember this. Yeah, it was. I it was, remember liking this. It show. was a good show. I think. Yeah, it, you had that the big monkey with the beanie too. That yeah, would hang out with. Them. I don't know if I'd give it B though. I think I would keep it in C. It feels like a C. I I just remember liking it. Yeah, I remember all of this. Yeah. Damn. Never saw Juniper Lee. Never saw. Oh, it. oh! I thought you were on not Juniper Lee. I thought you were on Totally uh, Spies. No, yeah. that, I don't even know what this one is. Total Amara. I don't know that one either. I never saw Totally Spies, though. I loved that show. It was like their version of Kim Possible. Um, it it was so much better than I think you would think it would be from pictures. Um, it was it was kind of like Kim Possible meets uh, Charlie's Angels. <laughs> okay, where would you put and it? Probably, I would go B, honestly. B? Okay. Yeah, it was a good, good. show. I liked it. When so, did that come out? Oh, it had to be like 2006 or some shit. Yeah, that was a... That's an A or B for me because it, it was a solid show. 2001. Whoa. Okay. That had I some had fetish in there too? big childhood crushes on the, the Totally Spies. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Look at them. Whoa. <laughs> Full latex suits. Are what you the kidding? fuck is that? You can't show me that as a seven-year-old. You can't show that on Twitch. Yeah, unbelievable. The Cramp Twins never saw it. Cramp? Nope. Yeah. This guy kind of looks familiar. I was going to say, that guy looks familiar. <laughs> I'll just keep it there. What about Victor and Valentino? Nope, have you seen it? No, and what about We Bear Bears? If I don't rate it high, my dad's going to disown me. This is you the know? one that he loves a lot? So that show, from everything he had told me about it, had some solid ass writing in it. Um, but I don't like the bears' voices. Basically, three bears. Actually, you know what? Do We Bear Bears episode one. Okay. Because it's going to tug on your hard strings. Okay. Um, God damn it. Yeah, I guess try origin story. Basically, they're left in a box on the side of the road. They're alone. They're like, what do we do? Why are we here? They're just abandoned. Aww. And it's about their whole story. So they get into goofy situations. They're cute as shit, too. So your dad just watches this on his own? He, I guess it would come on, and he swears it would come on, and he'd watch some of it. Uh, some of this, you know, they they go on each other's shoulders to get into movies, and it, it's just adorable. It looks adorable. Yeah. Great animation. I know it's part two, but there is no part one. Yeah. That's okay. So I like it. It's personally an A to me. All right. I'm fine <laughs> with that. I have no strong opinion. And then... Yeah. They left an S tier for last. Yeah, they finish it off with a nice S tier. Shaolin Showdown, an incredible show with the Shingong Wu. Yep. This show, Timmy God. That show. So good. Honestly, it was between that and Jackie Chan Adventures. Like that time period, both of those yeah. were just. Oh. I mean, Shaolin I Showdown is better than Jackie Chan Adventures. Should we Shaolin. drop it to an A? That's how good I think Javelin Showdown is, though. It's the better Jackie Chan Adventures, and I still think Jackie Chan was an S to me. All right, I'll keep it an S, then, if you're fine with that. I'm good with it. God, yeah, Shaolin Showdown was great. God, I love that show. Both of those were so good. This is the objectively correct yeah, list here. I don't here, think I it gets better than that with 
12 of them, or 15 of them and never seen them. These are all dog shit shows, yeah, though. They like, look like dog these shit. don't look good. The only one that maybe is Gumball. Like, maybe oh, well, yeah, like Gumball. It. I've seen clips. That's the one where they have a, like a full anime fight scene at one point. Yeah. Gumball does seem good. I just haven't seen it. I remember, you know what? I saw one episode mm. somebody showed me of Gumball, of some sandwich shop episode, and it was a good episode, but still haven't seen it. Not to pull yeah. it out of there. Apparently, Total Drama Island, Gumball, and, and I... I've got Steven Universe as well. And Steven Universe are the three that are here that people say Maybe we should watch. Flapjack, but I think those three. Let's look at our S's real quick. Oh, God, these shows. Yeah, that's... Uh, well, and we got to go to the other S's, oh, too. Oh, right, 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 right. Wow. That is... That's, that's just a, a good lineup. list. That is quite the lineup. Cartoon Did Network... Did miss any down there? I don't think so this is batman beyond i think mm -hmm. oh no this is batman yeah. beyond i don't know what i don't know what it is yet. i have no idea this just says wizard be nice okay yeah i don't think we missed any no we're looking good great work yeah chat's just saying we missed ones that are already on the list so i think we got it